Hi, this is Bishop George D. McKinney of St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. His name is synonymous with San Diego greatness, and on this day, his legacy of greatness continued as dignitaries and community leaders alike were welcomed to the dedication of the George D. McKinney Retirement Center across the street from the church he founded, St. Stephen's Cathedral Church of God in Christ. After one year of reconstruction, this 60-unit affordable housing development for low-income seniors in the Valencia Park area of San Diego was unveiled. Give yourselves a hand, because this is the community that makes it happen. You can do better than that. This is for yourself. Give yourself a big round of applause. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, everybody, to the new and improved, no longer St. Stephen's Retirement Center, but the George D. McKinney Retirement Center. On behalf of our Board of Trustees and committed partners, we welcome you. My name is Wendy McKinney and I serve as a project coordinator. In other words, my title means just get Wendy to do it. <laughs> Over the last year, we have enjoyed the magnificent transformation of this beautiful 60 unit facility. Over 30 years ago, Bishop George D. McKinney and his lovely wife, Dr. Jean Brown McKinney, had a vision to provide, hey, to provide safe, comfortable housing for seniors who needed the support. In 1994, the 16 unit St. Stephen's Retirement Center was built, and in 2005, in 2005, immediately next door, the 50 unit Gene C. McKinney Manor made its debut named in honor of Dr. Jean C. McKinney after her untimely passing in 2004. About to get emotional. Woo. Today we celebrate and honor the decades of service sacrifice by Bishop George D. McKinney and give you the new and improved George D. McKinney Retirement Center. Now these two buildings stand side by side serving the San Diego community, just like Bishop McKinney and Dr. Jean McKinney served this community for decades. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> to tell the rest of the story, I would like to introduce the mastermind of this project, Bishop McKinney's eldest son, who happens to be my husband. <laughs> who moved from Los Angeles over a decade ago to help his father and mother continue this amazing dream. George Anthony McKinney is the president and CEO of the St. Stephen's Retirement Center, Inc., and pastor of Impact Global Ministries. Let's give him a big round of applause as he comes to the podium. It is my great honor to be here dedicating this wonderful facility to my late dad, who worked, as you all know, tirelessly in this community not only to provide housing for seniors, but he was also uh, uh, one of the first to provide daycare mm -hmm. and uh, Meals on Wheels, and there's the, the, the list of community services is just almost endless. Yeah. But he was a trailblazer for sure. Yeah. And this is something that is the crowning achievement of this particular facility, which was built in 1994, just a little history, HUD at the time did not allow for uh, improvements. They just had a HUD, HUD facility. But now, they're, due to changes in the law, we were able to do this uh, rehab. And before Pop's dad, Bishop, I got to remember where I am, before, before Bishop passed away, um, we got a chance, Glenn and I, my brother Glenn and I, uh, jammed Dad up and said, Dad, we would like to, to to honor you by, by naming this facility after you. And he paused a little bit. He had to think about it because he was a humble man. He didn't want to be put out in front like that. But he, after that, he, he said, after much prayer, he said, Son, sons, um, go ahead. I think that would be an honor. So when he gave us the approval, we, that's all we needed to hear. And, and for that, we are thankful. When you think about seniors, you know, they live on a fixed, <clears throat> fixed income. And with inflation running wild, completely wild, seniors on a fixed income, you know, it's a big problem. So to be able to rehab this building and 
and give tenants brand new renovated apartments. And I encourage everyone to look at the before and after pictures because it's like, it's like, sorry, uh, it's like night and day, the before and afters. And I think, you know, what I want to mention is the importance of the second elevator that we installed. <clears throat> you know, when you have seniors with one elevator, you know, and that breaks down, it's, it's a problem. For asking seniors to walk up two, three, four flights of stairs, you know, it, you know, it's a big issue. So the fact we were able to put in a second elevator, you know, make, you know makes me very happy. This was an interesting project. Uh, George was going in the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, and, and I told him that he was going in the wrong direction and God, God doesn't like bad deals. And here, <laughs> here, here we go, you know, uh, it's a yes. great, it's a great accomplishment, right? So, um, and it's a very unique project because it is a hot 202 project with uh, some rental assistance, and it's one of its own kind with Tom, with Paul's great team, and with our Mirka team working together. Uh, I mean, this is uh, one of its kind in terms of conversion to the tax credit project. And of course, I saw the new name of the building and I started researching. And just, wow. Um, I was just blown away by the Bishop's impact on the community. And some of the stuff that may still not be here, I was thinking of the impact of the K through 12 um, that was run for so many years and the impact on those children. And then thinking of the impact of individuals from that young age all the way to seniors in this building. And we're just really grateful at City Community Capital that we were able to provide the financing to rehabilitate this project. Um, all of these seniors living here just deserve to live in a beautiful place, a safe place that they're proud to call home. It's my sixth year living here in this community. Okay, about the remodelation. Beautiful colors outside, amazing colors. Beautiful landscaping in progress, in progress, in progress. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Inside of the apartments, I love the air condition. Not only in the living room, but in the bedroom. <laughs> A beautiful kitchen. Oh, new elevator, elevator. Very important for the security and logistic. This building now, more beautiful, is and will be our last ship to leave. And I have been here since 2002. Wow. And I left in 2008, stayed away a year, came back, they gave me my same apartment. Wow. wow. That's the grace of God. And I have to say that I used to volunteer in the office, and when Bishop McKinney would come in, you could feel that sweet, sweet spirit. That man had such a sweet spirit, and he was wonderful to everyone. Uh, affordable housing is something that is extremely important to the mayor and our administration. I want to thank the McKinney family for continuing uh, Paul, Paul, my Paul, Paul, Bishop McKinney's uh, legacy and foresight to continue to see that affordable housing is extremely important, not just in this community, but around San Diego and also for our seniors and our senior population. So again, just want to say thank you for inviting us to be here. Uh, this is special to me. I actually delivered pancake breakfasts as a Boy Scout in the senior facility. So this is uh, extremely important. It's great to see uh, the amenities. I'm looking forward to coming back here and uh, delivering some pancake breakfast again. <laughs> so thank you for that. I appreciate everything the McKinney family is continuing to do. Look forward to seeing projects like this, not just again in this community, but around the city. Um, just uh, to give you an update, some of you have heard some of the new amenities just really quickly. We are installing a new commercial grade kitchen right through that door right there over to the right. Um, it will be finished in about three weeks. State-of-the-art fitness center, which we hope you can get a chance to tour. Um, custom design computer lab and reading room. Um, you heard about the brand new elevator that the smaller elevator wouldn't even, didn't have room for gurneys, so they had to literally almost stand up and the gurney sit up, you know, they said in order to get um, for emergencies. Now we have a full-size 
uh, elevator, and as uh, Mr. Hugo says, now we have a plan B. I was always taught that the best speech is a short one. So in conclusion, <laughs> I'd just like to recognize the McKinney family one more time for all the contributions, all the time, all the effort, and over decades, decades in San Diego, we're totally beholden. Thank you so Thank much. You. The McKinney family. Now, I have to say, I've met Bishop McKinney in my lifetime. I didn't know him very well, but I got to know him through your family. Oh, great. And so, being able to sit down with uh, uh, Pastor Glenn, Wendy, George, uh, and the family, and learn about them and see the real legacy of your dad and mom through what you do in the community has been amazing. Uh, I, I think Dan and I are in the community quite a bit. Our offices at the Treasure Tax Collector and the Assessor Recorder Clerk are community-oriented offices. And there isn't a place that I don't go where I don't get to see the McKinney fingerprints helping and giving back, not just here for our seniors, but just throughout the entire community. So I just want to say, not only is your dad's name on the building, which is why you had to make it look really good, and you worked so hard to make it happen. <laughs> but also, his legacy lives on in each of you and what you do in the community, and I'm proud to know you and your family and thankful for what you do. So just want to say thank you very much. Uh, we do have a certificate, but my favorite piece of paper is the one that says zero property taxes because <laughs> that makes it. It's dance too, so. Anyway. Maybe if Glenn, Wendy, and George come join us up here. Wow. On behalf of the County Assessor Recorder Clerk's Office in the County of San Diego, we want to recognize your dad, George D. McKinney's legacy, the retirement center, and the grand reopening of this wonderful low-income senior housing project. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of this with you. Thank you. I want to say uh, to the McKinney family, to Paul and um, Krisha, and all the folks who have contributed to make this happen, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, in our city, homelessness is a critical issue for our senior population. Nearly one in four of San Diego County's homeless residents are seniors. The critical nature of what is happening here today is not only the fact that housing is being provided, but the amenities that are being provided make me want to ask if y'all got any openings tomorrow. <laughs> you got a pool, you got a fitness center. I mean, you know, and the critical nature of what Bishop McKinney accomplished as, as someone who was ordained uh, at 21, was licensed to preach at 18 and started my ministry at 16 um, as a preacher, Bishop McKinney played a very pivotal part in my path and in my journey. Um, so many times he would call me up to his office, sit me down, and give me that quiet, still, but very powerful w w uh, 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 talk. He, w he didn't have to say a lot and he didn't have to say it loud, but the power that he held and God's anointing on his life was so, so powerful. Thank you, thank you. This is a, uh, I'm a Koji preacher. Okay. So I don't understand time. So if y'all, <laughs> y'all give me about three hours, I should be out of here. <laughs> you know, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna close in a minute and we just keep on going. And keep on going. <laughs> but I thought I'd make you laugh on that. I'm Bishop Nowden, and for many of you who may not know me, uh, the Lord bless me, amen, through the leadership of Bishop McKinney to be able to be the jurisdiction of Bishop that he served for, for 37 years, amen. And we have a couple of our leadership team here, Bishop uh, Lynch, and First Administrator Assistant, uh, Superintendent William Smith that are with me. And any other, I don't see any other one looking around that uh, work with me in the jurisdiction. I'm so honored, uh, Glenn brought it to my attention and wanted to make sure that I be here. Yeah. So honored for Glenn, amen, letting me know that this occasion will be in, on today. And to Wendy, I know all of the McKinney family. I've been with Bishop McKinney ever since 1985, before 85. Mm -hmm. As a young man, I recently got married 
and the Lord called me and put me in a church in the Los Angeles area. I had a wife and a, a church and a newborn uh, baby, child, and I didn't know anything about any of them. <laughs> I didn't know how to be a father. I didn't know how to be no husband, and I, I didn't know how to be a pastor. And I called Bishop McKenna. He said, can you get in your car and come to San Diego? Mm. Came to San Diego, he fed me, and and it took care of me, and babied me, and uh, my son at the time was a baby. He, uh, you know, prayed for him, blessed him, dedicated him, and that was the beginning of our relationship, and I think that was around about 1982, uh, 83, and then he became the jurisdiction of bishop in 85. We've been together ever since. I'm so grateful to be a part of this uh, retirement center dedicated to his name. Bishop McKinnon, I really wish I could have about three hours. I still would never repeat myself. Yes, right. Bishop McKinney is the richest man I ever known. Yes. And you probably look, y'all probably looking, um, uh, Joy, I'm probably like, where the money at? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know when to be tell. Do he know a safe deposit if I can get it? <laughs> no, no, no. He's the richest man that I ever known in my life, amen, to pour into your spirit. Amen. Maybe not in dollar and cent. And even in dollar and cent, he, if he had it, he gave it away. It just came. He was a resource that it comes in and go out. So we, I'm just grateful to be a part of this. I'm so thankful for uh, the McKinney family, all of you, yeah, man. They, all of you are my brothers. My name is Ariel Gibbs. I am the communications manager with Council President Pro Tem Montgomery Step for the 4th Council District, where we are in the heart of, and she's uh, really sorry that she couldn't be here. She's currently in council committee at this time, um, but she definitely wanted to send her support and just love for this amazing center that's reopening for our seniors, low-income seniors. I was really impressed with hearing from the residents themselves and just hearing all the amazing amenities that are coming improving the quality of life for our seniors is extremely important to uh, council president pro tem Montgomery step who did grow up in the fourth council district and really pours into this community and really wants to build up all of the residents and all of the amazing things that are giving back to the community so. I was born and raised in San Diego but I I was able to go away I'm, I'm the son not the prodigal son but I was the son that moved away and it's Good to be here. Uh, I just want to share one quick thing with you. Uh, before the pandemic, we were blessed, me, myself, four of my brothers, Pastor George, Pastor Glenn, uh, uh, Elder Greg, and Elder Grant, all together would come together every Saturday in prayer on Zoom, before Zoom got popular, amen? And we would sit and pray for our communities. Bishop had a special heart for San Diego. He had a special part for Southeast San Diego, and he had a particular feeling that he had for the Lynch Park area. And he prayed for this community, and we all prayed for this community. And the scripture says, the effective and fervent prayer of the righteous man, what? Availeth much. And today, we are seeing what has availed in Bishop's prayer. As a matter of fact, Many of us are recipients yes. of the blessings of, from some of the prayers that Bishop prayed for us. He prayed for, I know he prayed for me, amen? <laughs> if he didn't pray for me, I wouldn't be here, amen? <laughs> so I thank God for my father. I thank God for his legacy, my mother, Sister Jean C. McKinney, and all the work that she did in this area, Valencia Park. I just thank God, and I just, I, I'm choked up right now. And I just thank God for all, and I thank God for everyone that joined us today. Continue to support us, and we'll be praying. We're going to continue to pray, and we love you. We love this community, and let's keep up the legacy. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm not going to say anything. We're just going to pray. Because you done heard it all. And like Bishop Down said, I'm a Kojic preacher too, and we kind of forget about time. So with that being said, Father God, we thank you. We thank you, oh God, for legacy. And Lord, let us look at our lives and see what we're doing, what we're contributing to the communities in which we have been placed. If we're not doing anything, oh God, galvanize us. Lord, speak to our hearts so that we would make a difference wherever our feet tread. Lord, give us a heart 
for your people, those who have been wounded, those who have been marginalized. Give us a heart for them, oh God, that we would meet the needs of the people in the community in which we serve. Now, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, oh God, for allowing this team to come together to build and rehab and to give the amenities that were missing to this community, oh God, to this retirement center. Now, Lord, guide us and direct us for there's more work to do. And Lord, we need your power to do this work. We can only do it under your power. And so, Lord, we thank you for giving us your power to do the impossible. And Lord, we know that there's more things, more impossible tasks, oh God, that you want to use us to tame and to make possible. So, Lord, wherever there's an opportunity, Lord, use us. We are available to you and we'll give you the thanks forever. Now, Lord, we also pray for these residents here yes. that, that they will be safe, yes. that they will be healed from any disease, any ailments. And, Lord, that just them coming through the threshold of this place, they will feel your presence. They will be rejuvenated. They will come alive again and that you would add years to their life just because they're here and we'll give you the praise forever. Amen, amen. God bless you. One, two, three.